Cześć, witajcie. Dzisiaj zapraszam Was na kawał dobrego, solidnego mordobicia. Miłego oglądania. Not a thing happens round here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. That's it. Off your trot. <laughs> we'll be sure to keep a bullet warm for you. Just listen out for the accents. in your boot. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house.
Master. There a reason you're this close? You got a problem? Oh, you are going down. Up that man down. You ain't gonna leave here live. You think you're tough? That's not a human blood, is it? Move it! Let's go, boy. Mike continues for Cornwall train robbery. What the heck was wrong Out of with the you? Damn way. How about I break you into pieces? What's the matter? Lose your spine all of a sudden? Come on, Charles. We got a wild one here. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! There he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, Are you about to pal? kiss that guy Take or it punch easy, him? Huh?
I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Well, my pockets are feeling like about time we went on a tear. Ran across a passel of locals the other day. So they won't forget the Odrisco name. Yeah. Around. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Holding hands with that dump. Oh, kid.
You wait, Lily May. Well, someday, I'll show you. I'll be rich. A nice, big house. You'll be begging me to court you. Maybe I'll just stay here forever. Waste away like some fallen leaf. Crinkle up. Wouldn't that be nice? You expect to win this girl with all your belly aching? Be a man, son. Hey, I'm plenty man, thank you very much. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. Evening. I see it, ain't no good in worrying about what may be. Worry about what you got and ain't got, and none of you got nothing to worry about. Just like my daddy told me. He said, son, don't worry about the future. Worry about today. And I said, what do you mean, Pa? He said, well, you're going to get a beating so hard you'll be lucky to even see tomorrow. <laughs> he was right. Damn nearly killed me, but it taught me not to watch women in the outhouse and get caught. It also taught me not to worry about nothing other than that which is gonna happen. <sighs> Another busy day. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Ain't so bad here. If I never see snow again, it'll be too soon. Yeah, we'll be all right now. Evening, Arthur. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? 
I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. partner. Come take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best... Keep moving. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the uh, Kaiserreich. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money, money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Ooh. Where is it? Oh, oh no, no, no. 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 Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Harry Strauss. Pay up. Stop! Już nie mam siły. Już nie mam siły. Przestań. Uh, no, 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 please, no, uh, no, have money, but, but have this, it's, it's good, it's good, it's valuable, it's, it's Warsawa, yes. I have your things, okay, I have 
Anything in here or out there? Yes. Don't even speak English. It's very valuable, good? Not good yet. Somewhere. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. You must have come here with something. Should about cover things. Those are brawish, you primitive, you each pledge. As yes, them zruinovane, zruinovane. You're doing good, girl.
shit. Not bad, boy.
You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. You. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Boys. Please! You, you gotta get me out of here! Let me out of here! Yep. I got a wife and kids! Shut up and keep still! I never robbed a thing in all my life! Come on! Oh, you're giving me a headache! Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You... Boss money! Yeah! The more I chase, the more you owe! Go much further. 
take you to the money. Lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. <laughs> my legs all numb. Please hurry. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank Whoa. you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. 
No problem. All right, boy. Normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband. Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Yeah, sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. Well, I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. now just a little further we're here thank you for all your help you're a good man Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You'd be well.
The ranch maid. Miss Millet, you know where I can find her? You know where Lily Millet is? Uh. Lily Miller. Where can I find her? Lily? Just over there by the store with Cooper. Hey, the hell do you want here? I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily. Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got! I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder! Son of a bitch! <laughs> 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 Partner. Don't you breathe a word of this to no one. You hear? You wanna die? You wanna Don't make this difficult. I'm gonna blast- ah!
won't get it there. It'll scare away my dinner. Trust me, the way you're tracking, dinner's long gone by now. Yes, I know where you are. Got him! Did you see that? Perfect! Well, shit, you're good at this. Yep. You sure are a beauty. Some respect. Another six hours I'll never get back. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. Said he couldn't bear to see your face. Hi, Abigail. Hi. Oh, hi, Dutch.
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Morning, Arthur. Okay, boy. Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> Sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Well, good luck to you. Hmm.
Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please. Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? How's that dead looking now? <sighs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <coughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. 